Hope you're having a good day today. I am. It's, I think it's Wednesday, Wednesday evening. And I want to talk to you about business growth. And most of you know, I'm in real estate, but I do own multiple business that are very successful. And we've been able to grow them through down markets and definitely through the up markets too. Uh, but one thing I've noticed is that as you dive deeper into business and decide, hey, I'm not going to let whatever is happening out there affect the decisions that I do have control over. And that's that's easy, right? That's your mind. That's the things that you can actually have real control over, your, your emotions, the actions that you take. That's what I want to focus on today because business growth, and I'm going to be very specific here. I'm going to take you through some of the things that we've done to be able to grow your businesses. And these are very practical things, very exact things. I'll share them with you. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll be able to download all of the links. I have some things to share as well for you. So this will be about, I think about 12 minutes. So hang in there and let me start off by sharing a quote with you that I read just a few minutes ago. And I thought, man, this was, I wasn't originally going to include it on there, but my friend, he just came out with this book. The book doesn't come out yet. It's on Kindle. It's called Renaissance Wisdom. And I'm always reading Stoic philosophy. And so in, in that book, he has a great quote. And let me, let me share that one with you because I, I really loved it. And it's, it's here. It's by Fred Friedrich. Let me zoom in here. Nietzsche and it says to those human beings who are of any concern to me I wish suffering he says I wish suffering desolation sickness ill treatment indignities I wish that they should not remain unfamiliar with profound self-contempt the torture of self-mistrust the wretchedness of the vanquished I have no pity for them because I wish them the only thing that can prove today whether one is worth anything or not, that one endures. And I love that one because sometimes we don't think we don't think that way. We think, well, you know, I want a happy life and I want it to be easy. But once you get down to it, you realize that all of those experiences that we call terrible or hard or bring us down to our knees or make us cry, that's really where we learn and where we grow. And so... I'm kind of wishing you the same thing. It's going to be a tough ride when you decide to run your own business in a, in a great way. So be prepared for that. And I want to share with you now a couple of things because I, I wrote these out for you. I think of the way we run our businesses as a bow tie funnel. And this is not something that I created. All right. So I'm going to share with you what I found a few years back. And I, and I thought, well, Let's go deeper on this because a bow tie funnel is is really you see most businesses focus on the first part of this bow tie and that's the conversion rate. You always hear all these companies talk about let's go get the online leads, let's get the lead, let's let's take them to a landing page, let's convert them, but you never hear the end part of this, right? The customer retention and that's what I want to talk to you about, because this seems to be a lot easier. We can go to Facebook and go to online. But over here, once we have the sphere, once we have those people that are our past clients, once we have those, how do we retain them and how do we stay in front of them so that we can grow our businesses over a very long period of time? Right. And so that bow tie funnel has been key to the focus of of what we what it is that we want to do. And look, I'm not going to tell you that you shouldn't be learning, right? Growing your mindset a lot. That's that's part of growth. Warren Buffett says that all the time. He says, grow your mind and just keep reading. Keep, keep surrounding yourself with amazing people. That's all great stuff. But when it comes down to stats, and I'm in real estate, if we look at the stats, and I'm going to share this with you. This is by NAR. This is very recent. I'm going to just zoom in here so you can read it with me. It says, referrals remain the primary method most buyers found their real estate agent. Referrals by friend, neighbors, or relatives were higher among younger millennials, millennial buyers, 55%, and older millennial buyers, 48%. Now, it's the stat is very similar when you're looking at sellers. And the stats are very similar all across 
all of these types of businesses. So you think, how can we stay in front of people? How can we connect with people more? Because at the end of the day, it's how you make people feel and what they think of you, what that perception, because to them, that's what they're seeing out there. And so I've broken it down for you. And the thing I want you to, to remember, I'm going to share some, some websites that you probably want to go to as well. But what we've done is we've identified our top 50. We've identified our top 100. We've identified, we've identified our top 150, 200, whoever those people are. And if you're newer, you're not going to have that many. It may be 10 people. If you've been in the business for a while, you definitely have a top 50, top 100 in this little device. So you all want you to dig into that. Now, after you're like, I got you, I understand, right? I'm going to take you through a process so you fully understand what happens when we have our past clients, right? Or, or those sphere. And I'm going to share with you what we do with our past clients, just so you understand part of this connection. Now, what I'm about to show you goes through one section of our three pillars when it comes to connecting with our past clients. And we, we love our brand to touch our past clients in our sphere, in their house. And I'll go over that. We love our brands to touch them online, on the phone, texting, voicemail, anything you can do with this little device. And then third, we love to touch them in person, right? And that's coffee, lunch. Well, we'll go over that. So let me share with you here what we do. This is our one-year past client drip. And what I do typically is I outline these. And so I outline them visually for me. We use a company called BombBomb to do the videos. Uh, and we, we use our CRM to text. There, there are lots of different CRMs you can use to text. Voicemail drops. Ours does it internally. You can use something like Sly Broadcast or you can use Agent Legend, either one of those two. But what we do is we outline it like that. So there you go. But I get into details, right? Here are the details and I break it down, right? So I'll, I'll give you an example. Day one, as soon as these people become our past clients, what happens is we put them in our system and they get a voicemail. For me, it says, congratulations again. I know I've said it before, but it was great working with you and blah, blah, blah. Have a, have a great day. And then we start pumping out in different forms, right? Email, text, voicemail, drop, and then video, email, video, text, different ways, all value. So we don't spam them. We're like, hey, do you want to buy another house? Hey, do you want to buy another house? Hey, I was thinking about you. And do you want to buy another house? Do you have a referral for me? That gets so annoying. Think about Think about if you're getting somebody who's doing that every month, every quarter. Hey, I'm calling. Uh, it's a business call, and I'm looking to see if you have any referrals from me. How are you doing with your house? That is absolutely crap. If I'm getting a call from you, then I'm probably looking at the phone and being like, "Oh, it's it's Tristan again. I'm just not going to pick it up. It's, it's he's just he wants another referral." That's the opposite of what we want to do. That's why I dug in here, and I'm like, "Hey, it's time to offer people value, right? Let's." Let's reach out to them. Look, day 250, there's a text that goes out at 9 a.m. It says, hey, first name, just had one of our clients call me back to ask me about an electrician. If you need anyone, please reach out to me. I've got connections. Just reminding you, super, super simple, super easy. Now, the thing is, at the end of this cycle, this is just the one-year cycle. At the end of it, we got day 364. This is happening automatically. It says, hey, first name, guess what? And then two minutes later, says about a year ago today you closed on your first home happy home anniversary that's the process that i'm talking about that's what i want you to go deeper into whatever business you're in right now as you start looking at business this way and you start looking at that bow tie funnel and you start focusing on what's happening over here right? that's what i'm talking about and there's three things here remember the pillars because you have to apply these pillars to your business the first pillar is what are what are you doing as a brand, right? As an organization to meet your clients, to meet those past clients, those top 100, to meet them in your sphere, to meet them at their house. Are you sending out a handwritten note to make them feel special? I mean, there's plenty of companies out there that do it, right? I'll, I'll share with you one that we use. We use handwritten. We have no affiliation with them, but it's a robot that's writing the letters, right? Or, or you can use audience. Audience is another one that does it. And they add a little uh, QR code so you can scan it and they track it. Here's what it looks like. Right? And they have a whole bunch of things that they do. This is with an actual real pen. 
And the QR code then puts them into a different funnel, which I absolutely love, right? What are you doing? Are you sending them gifts, right? At their house, like through Client Giant. Like for us, here, here's what we do. Here's our client care. We have all these options right here. Top of mind, situational gifts, birthday, volume pricing, real estate professionals. Let's just go to top of mind and see what we find. We have two options right here. Top of mind is $9.99 per client, $99 a year. And then you can go a little bit pricier, $24 per person. And some of the sample gifts, here they are. Some of them are pretty nice. And they get them quarterly. So start thinking this way. Start thinking, how, how am I, as an organization, as a business, how am I going to connect with people so that they feel special? Because people don't give a crap about you until they know that you care about them and that you're there for them. How are you making people feel at their home? So think about that. Now we dive deeper into this and we think, well, the brand online, what are we doing online to connect with them? Are we even looking at retargeting them like from a company like Wilopo? Retargeting them on Facebook or Instagram because they're still relevant. 70% of Americans are still on Facebook monthly. What message are they seeing from you? Are they even seeing you? And if you're not retargeting, are you even using social media to connect with those clients, messaging them, saying, hey, I saw you eating over there. It was great. How did you like the food? Think about those things. And then are you sending them texts? Are you sending them emails? I mean, we have something for lab code agents. We've got something called LCA Nurture, right? Here's, here's what it looks like. And we send out emails. Oh, here. Yeah, we send out emails. Let me uh, forward that. They went the wrong way. Send out emails, send out texts, even use handwritten handwritten letters, voicemail drops. We try to do the whole process there. But look, if you don't know your options here, this is why I'm going through the different options. If you don't know what's possible, you end up doing almost nothing. And then you're like, I don't know what to do. And as the market shifts, you have an opportunity because in every shifting market, you have an opportunity. This is your opportunity. You go deeper with these people, deeper with the people that already like you. They already want to talk to you. Just don't burn the bridge by always talking about business. Make them feel great. And then lastly, when are you meeting them? Are you taking them out to coffee one-on-one? -on -one? Do you do these small little dinners? where you take out three, maybe two people at a time. What about these big events? I know some of my friends have massive events. I think the biggest event we've ever had is like 600 people. But you can alternate. I'm not a big event type of person, but you can do great with these. And that's the hop process, right? You meet them at home, your brand meets them at home, meet them online, and then you meet them in person. There's a process to this, and I want you to start looking at what the opportunities are here because you have a ton. And when we talk about growth in this market, it's going to come down to how you connect with people and build these relationships with people that are already loving you. They're right here. They're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn. They already like your stuff. And those that aren't online, they're on your phone and you have their cell phone numbers. But what are you doing with them? That's the key. So that's how I want you to think because that's that's something you're going to have to dive in deeper over the next few months. I suggest you do it for July. Get right into it. If you miss any of the links, if you have any questions, always reach out to me. I'm available in all the outlets. Sometimes I'm a little slower on LinkedIn, but I'm pretty fast everywhere else. And I will put up the links on the YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. And I'll put the links there under the description so you have everything that I just showed here, including the drips. Hope you have an awesome day. I went over by a minute, 14 minutes. Have an awesome Wednesday.